This video will serve as a basic overview of the Smart PSS software. Once you have downloaded and installed the software as outlined in the previous video, you should be able to find the Smart PSS icon on your desktop. Open the software, use admin for the username and the password. Select preview to view the live camera feed. On the screen you can click and drag the DVR from the device list on the right to the channels to open the camera feeds. Alternatively, you can select a preset from the bottom left of the screen if you have saved any. Next, return to the home page and select the playback option. Select the camera from the list on the right then select a day from the calendar below and click search. If you are using the motion detection on your DVR, the portions of the video in which motion is detected will be highlighted in yellow. Once you have found the portion of video that you need, click the download button underneath the calendar on the right of the screen. A box will appear titled download Select the interval to be downloaded. You must also close the playback window in order to begin the backup. Once the video is closed, you can begin downloading the file. While the video is downloading, open up your Windows Explorer. Choose the directory, C drive, program files, x86. Smart Professional Surveillance System, Smart PSS, and Record. Right click on the folder titled Download and select Create Shortcut. You can rename the shortcut to anything of your choosing. Just understand that this is where your downloaded videos will appear. Next, click and drag the shortcut you just created onto your desktop. This will make it much easier to locate the files once you have downloaded them from your DVR using Smart PSS. Once the file has finished downloading, open up the shortcut folder we just created on your desktop. You should see the file name as a long strand of numbers and symbols, and a blank icon next to it. The reason the icon is blank is because your computer does not know which program to use to play the file. Open up a web browser, copy and paste the link for the player from the description below into the address bar of your web browser. Select save and save it to your desktop. Once the download is finished, you should see a zip folder appear on your desktop. Right click the folder and select extract all. Specify the directory for the files to be extracted to and click extract. Once the files have been extracted, a window should appear showing the extracted files. Run the installer, select next, specify the directory to install the player to. Specify if you would like a shortcut to be created. Click next to begin the installation. Once you see the installation successful message, click finish. When you double click on the player icon, you should receive the message, do you want to associate the playing file? Select yes. Now if you reopen the video download shortcut we created earlier, the file should now have an icon next to it that says DAV. If you do not see this icon, you may have installed the player incorrectly and should remove it and reinstall. Once the player has been correctly installed, you can use it to play back the downloaded DAV video files. You can also use it to convert these files to another format so that they can be viewed in another video player such as Window Media Player or VLC Player. Simply double click the file to begin playback. Right click anywhere on the video and select Convert to AVI. There you will see the source file and the target file. Leave both of them as is and click convert. Once the file is finished converting, a box will appear saying complete. If you are using the motion detection feature with our DVRs, converting the file from DAV to AVI will create many smaller video clips. 
In the event that you need to provide security footage to law enforcement, it may be easier to provide them with both the raw DAV file and the video player file, rather than several dozen shorter video files. Either way, you can take all this information, put it on a flash drive to be handed over to the proper authorities should an incident occur. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.